Hello guys, Lucky Jake here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's video, we will be talking about our backup 24 volt system. So we will do a blackout test onto our ship and see if the standby generator will run. As you can see, the vessel went into blackout and it will take not more than 45 seconds before our emergency generator will run. As to our case right now, as I am counting, it only took around 20 seconds before the emergency generator to run. During this blackout state, only the backup batteries is supplying some of our essential loads. As you may have noticed, the PMS or the power management system card of generator number 3 did not reboot after the first standby generator ran. And that's what we are going to investigate in this video. So come and join me in this new learning. So the power management system is equipped with special features wherein if there is an abnormality onto the running generator, you will have your first standby or the first to start generator and the second start generator. Meaning that if the running generator just shut down due to some problem, the first start should run. Since we have this upgrade onto our power management system, we tested this feature. We need to know if the first to start generator will really start whenever we have this blackout. After doing this so, the first to start generator really started. So it means that the features is really in there, but unfortunately there are some system which failed to reboot after the power restored and one of them is the power management system of the generator number three but the question is why did this module shut down even if we have this backup 24 volt system so let us start the investigation so after the blackout, we do not have power onto our main switchboard and to our emergency switchboard. The only thing that will supply to these modules are coming from our 24 volts backup system. Since the power is already restored, it means that once we measure the supply voltage onto our cards, we are having around 24 volts onto this. This leaves us with no choice but to switch off the battery charger and see the condition of our backup batteries. But before I shut down the battery charger, let me explain first the wiring diagram. So in case we have a blackout on board, we have this very important system which is the battery charger. And this battery charger is always running 24 7 to keep the battery in charge or the general service batteries these are the common batteries of course if we have a blackout the supply voltage for the battery charger will also cut off and only the backup batteries will supply our or some of our essential loads and the batteries will take over and these are the breakers that it is supplying E1, E2, E3, and E4 and these are equivalent to some essential loads which is the main switchboard, the elevator, shop generator, control panel and some system in our engine control console. Since the PMS modules are connected into our main switchboard let us check the 
wiring diagram of our main switchboard since this is off and everything is off only the batteries will take over and for the pms modules they are now connected to this f49 this ugs circuit so it means that when we had the blackout only the batteries supplying all this circuit and this charge from our batteries should enough to keep all these cards running so in order for us to check why these cards shut down it means that we need to also switch off the battery charger and measure the voltage from our f49 or to our one of the pms card As you may have noticed, there is a big voltage drop whenever the batteries is taking over. So it means that we need to replace the batteries. So I made an urgent requisition and they were delivered after 4 days. So how to replace these batteries in a safe way? I must say that this is part of the most common questions that I am receiving in my Facebook page. How to replace the general service batteries and is it safe to replace them while the vessel is running? So the answer is this. Going back again to our battery charger, we have these batteries. And even if the vessel is running, we can safely replace the batteries just by removing these two fuses. To avoid arching or spark on the terminals, please use the proper fuse puller. So now the fuses are removed, so we can now start replacing the defective batteries. Please do not forget to put isolation tags and lock the board before doing this kind of job so that nobody will put back the fuses just in case they were curious to see they are outside the battery charger. It is also important to wear the proper PPE before doing this kind of job. These batteries are 2 volts and 200 ampere hour in rating. And they are 12 pieces. Since they are batteries, it means that they have polarities. We will be connecting the batteries in series so that we will have the total voltage of 24 volts. That is why it is very important to get the proper orientations of these batteries so that you will not have a mix up onto the polarities. So I normally take a picture of it and during installations, I will follow the way how the polarities are installed on the previous batteries. By the way, we are heading to Incheon when I did this replacement of the general service batteries. You just need to inform the chief engineer about the job that you are doing and also make sure that you do a permit to work and also the safe job analysis. So after installing the new batteries, it is now time to put back the fuses. Please, as a courtesy to our fellow electrician, always put the nameplate or the ratings of the fuses in front whenever we put it in the fuse holder. As you can see, everything went smooth even if the vessel is running. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and see you 